Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba and welcome to the dive brief. So we're well into the first quarter of 2022. All the new exciting stuff is starting to kind of arrive. You will find that on the new in page of Simply Scuba. But I figured I'd kind of delve through the, the top sellers, the most popular items so far this year. And of course, let you guys know because maybe you're missing out on something. So let's jump straight in with our first most popular item which so far seems to be the Apex VX1 mask. So that's not really a shocker. The Apex VX1 that was released probably uh, a couple years back and that's just kind of smashed it really. It's a good looking single uh, sort of lens mask, comes in a few different colors, nothing too outlandish. So if you're into your sort of really bright colors, uh, there's not too much so far. You've got the, uh, the black, you've got the white, you've got the darker gray, which is kind of a sort of dark slatish gray um, and you have two different lens options you have the ultra clear which has really nice clear glass tempered glass lenses or you have the uv cut version which is sort of protects your eyes it cuts out certain harmful uv rays so as a good like all-rounder of a mask this is really ticking a lot of boxes very comfortable as well the build quality is really really high so you don't get those little sort of edges things that you have to pick off the uh, the mask when you get it when it's brand new comes in eva case as well instead of one of those plastic boxes and you do get a neoprene strap as well that you can swap it over for so i'm not really surprised that this is in our top spot Next up in the list is another Apex product. This is their 1.4 meter DSMB. So again, not surprising. This is a really nice, well put together DSMB. And with the way that a lot of uh, sort of dive companies are requiring around the world that at least one diver of each body pair has their own DSMB, more people are starting to invest in their own. And it makes sense. It's better if you have your own, so it's a bit more you understand it when you first sort of send it up. It's not that someone's handed you a new piece of equipment and then you've got to figure out how to use it. It's, it's, it's your own. It's always nice to have your own equipment. But the, the 1.4 meter, this is a closed cell DSMB, so it doesn't have an opening at the bottom. I tend to prefer these because whatever gas that you put into them stays into them, even if they go up to the surface and then fall over. If it's open-ended, gas can just flow out of the bottom and of course you don't want that so with this being a closed cell you don't have that problem it's got all sorts it's got the reflective tape at the top but one of the main big differences is that it has a oral inflation valve so most dsmbs nowadays they have that little sort of tube at the bottom to inflate it and it has the same nozzle as your bcd so what you're supposed to do is disconnect your bcd hose or use an extra quick disconnect and then plug that in it inflates the dsmb very very quickly and then it shoots up to the surface so some divers do that i've done it before it's a very quick and easy way to send up a dsmb but what a lot of divers do because it doesn't affect your buoyancy is you blow into it and you orally inflate it but with those nozzles a lot of times they're metal and that against your teeth isn't too fun so apex actually fit a um like a silicone mouthpiece to be able to orally inflate the dsmb and then send it up to the surface it's spring loaded so um it, air only goes in one way but that's a real nice big change and just all sorts of little little details like you get a little um, tab to um, on the bungee strap so you can get it off a bit easier uh, just lots of little details uh, again i'm not surprised this is on the top five list in at number three we have the santi flex 190 dry suit undersuit so this was a little surprising for me um because i i tend to lean more towards the bz 400 but actually it seems that more people prefer the flex 190 which is in itself a very nice dry suit undersuit it's much thinner whereas the bz 400 is more of the sort of quilted undersuit that you tend to see uh, a lot of british divers using flex 190 is using uh, slightly more modern materials or different materials so it's a lot thinner but it does stay sort of nice and uh, uh, sort of insulating and this is I see it a bit more of a like uh, a summer undersuit or something that you can sort of, like wear year round but then when it starts to get really cold then you can uh, sort of switch up to a BZ400 but I'm starting to wondering if this is more because of Fewer people are sort of flying abroad, they're trying out diving local, and they're still just diving in like the summery months, but they still want to 
stay warm. So they're wearing a uh, dry suit. They don't want a big bulky undersuit, but they do want something thin, but something still insulating. So they've turned to the Flex 190, which is that perfect combination. It's a decent thickness if you're diving in a dry suit in the summery months. Um, they do a, um, I think it's called an 80. I think that really is their summery um, sort of undersuit, which is like half the thickness again. Uh, but still, if you're after a, uh, a decent like summery undersuit, you don't want too much bulk, too much uh, sort of buoyancy, then yeah, the Flex 190 is a great option. The Paralens Vaquita dive camera. So again, this is another one of those sort of unsurprising uh, sort of ones heading up at the top of the list. So the Paralens Vaquita is like an action camera that was built by scuba divers for scuba divers. So instead of just using a GoPro, uh, this is a, it has pressure sensors built into it and special algorithms on the inside to adjust the white balance as you go down. So it automatically color corrects um, sort of depending on your depth. So it just makes, recording, taking pictures, recording videos, much more accessible, uh, especially when you're first starting out, because trying to get a, a big like dive camera setup, you've got to invest in the camera itself. You then got to get the housing and all the lighting and the different lenses. It's very complicated. Whereas if you just sort of look at the Vaquita, there it is in the box, you can get going and come back with some really amazing footage. It's more of a, a GoPro style, so it has quite a wide uh, sort of angle lens, so you can sort of see everything. But yeah, this is, uh, again, unsurprising that a lot of people are investing in these because they're, they're a really accessible way to start getting into underwater videography and photos uh, in a really neat, well put together package. Um, yeah. No, I definitely like mine and um, yeah, it comes back with some incredible footage. And the final one on my list was again, a little bit out of left field for me. Uh, I was probably expecting like a, a pair of Apex RK3 fins or something, but this was actually the fourth element Storm Poncho. So ponchos have started to increase in popularity over the past few years and it's, I think it's mainly designed or um, sort of originated from the surfing culture. Surfers tend to use ponchos a fair amount to, uh, to sort of like throw it on, get changed underneath. So when they're taking off their wetsuit, they don't have to find a changing room. Um, but scuba divers, of course, we have that same problem. And when ponchos first came into the industry there, a few people took up on them, but I think now they're really talking, uh, starting to uh, sort of take up speed with more and more people investing in them. And of course, Fourth Element, well known for their exposure protection, they built the, uh, the Storm Poncho, which is now available in three colors, which is pretty cool. Originally, it was just black, red, uh, or like a burgundy red, uh, but now they have a kind of deep, no, I can't really describe it, blue uh, sort of color. It's not quite navy, it's not quite royal, it's it's kind of a, a mellow blue, which is very nice to, uh, to see. Um, but yeah, this is quickly becoming a, a staple in most divers' kit bags because yeah, after the dive, even if you are nice and warm, if that wind's coming through, you don't want to take that wetsuit off because as soon as you take it off, the wind just cuts straight through you and chills you to the bone. But when you throw on a uh, like a storm poncho, yeah, you eliminate that. And when you're first getting kitted up, you, you're in your like dry suit, undersuit or something, you're getting kitted up and the rain starts to come in or the boat spray or something. So it's nice to have that poncho to throw over yourself, protect you from the elements whilst you're getting kitted up and in between dives, because on that surface interval, you do need to keep yourself warm and dry to make sure that you're decompressing as your dive computer expects, so you're as safe as possible. And so far in the first quarter of 2022, those are the top five products as chosen by you, the people. Um, but what's your favorite dive equipment uh, or something that has come out for the beginning of the 2022 dive season? Uh, let me know down in the comments below what your favorite thing is or what you're hoping to invest in later on this year. Let me know down in the comments below. All of these, of course, are available on our website, simplyscuba.com. I'm gonna pop links and descriptions and all that kind of stuff. Good stuff, uh, like, subscribe, do social media things. Thank you for watching and of course, safe dive.